What is though YouTube? I am back finally bringing you the Outer Worlds. Now, I've played and beaten this game already, so it won't be a blind playthrough. Um, I had fun with it. Some things I was disappointed about, but it's whatever. It's still a really good game. Um, but I wanted to, after beating the game, I wanted to make a YouTube series on making a dumb character, because apparently there's dumb dialogue options. So I wanted to see what that was, and I was looking for something to record, so here we go. Um, enough wasting your time. We're going to jump into a new game here. So, let's go. And I'm just doing normal because... Because screw these. And we'll leave all that on. Here we go. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, and here we go. Character build time. So, obviously, we're making a dumb character. Hmm. I'll have to use smaller words around you. So we're going to change both of these. Oh dear, your corrective lenses need corrective lenses. To, uh... You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. No passive health. I want to see what happens if I put... I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. <laughs> so that's a lot of points. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Um, leave everything up below. Strength. We'll put about good. Um, we'll leave intelligence to... Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I... Dumb dialogue options unlocked. That's what I'm looking for. So, perception... I think we'll leave it average. Um... We'll go good for dexterity. Uh, no passive health mode we want. Unflappable. You could have captained this very ship. Hmm. I think I'll leave it on high, and then we'll do... We'll go high with... Strength. High with Dexterity. Okay, oh. So our penalty, reputation gains are significantly reduced. I will leave that one at average, I guess. 
And then... We'll put it into... Yeah, very high first. This one could twist the Marauder's head off. All right. So, we will do range. I hear monarchs in need of more game hunters. And stealth. Subtle and discreet. Exactly what I need. I'm sure. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to plan on doing melee for very long, so. Aptitude. I think we want Dirt Farmer. I'm pretty sure. Uh... Yeah, we'll we'll do dirt farmer. Where'd that go? We colonists prefer our food canned, not grilled. All right, now it comes to character creation. I will go ahead and just you know time lapses. So I'll be I'll see you after the time lapse. All right, so there we have it. That's my character. Took longer than I thought and a lot of back and forth, but there we go. Name. Of course. Next. All right, personality traits. Or right, this is a summary, so I am dumb. <laughs> Uh, average perception, very high strength, high dexterity, average charm, high temperament. So, alright. Next. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? 
Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Oh, the cutscenes in this game are great. <laughs> oh, they never get old. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. Landing. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. Yeah. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oof. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Crushed like the, uh, what was it? Now. Wicked Witch of the West? Not sure I trust it, or East. Fellow. I don't know, one of them witches. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. So one thing about this game is the skybox is fucking beautiful. Like, it's just jaw-dropping. Alright, we move. Not much to explore here. Just your standard tutorial. I've been sprinting. Thanks, game. Ooh, Marauder. Adreno, that is your health. That's what they call it. Oop. Health, you got your uh, sneak here. As you can see, their bar goes up. And being detected. Not that that matters. Oh. Alright. Back to sprinting. Oh! And here's your... Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. That is your... Basically your VATS. That is VATS. From Fallout. There's there's no way around that. Use F. Yes, okay. Well, I don't need to read that. Hey dude. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Sit still, I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you. Yeah, one. you do. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hmm. What's this about marauders? 
gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Mm, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too. Well, for thank you for that. Up and all. all spacers' choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right, I'm off. Oh. Yeah. I like to play evil. So. Or as evil as I can. I, I can. Can I? There we go. Anything else on you? All right. So, inventory, weapon management. You can repair stuff. I don't have anything to like break down or anything like that. Here's your armor. Four, three. Nah, I kind of like I kind of like mine. It's not much of a difference. Journals, codex, all that fun stuff. I'm still level one. And. Another mag pick. Mag picks are your uh, lock picks for this game. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. There it is. Tactical time dilation. TTD, or it's basically a ripoff of VATS. I'm just going to be honest. The Fallout 4 VATS. It's. It's that. See? Just kind of slows down time and. The hacking and lock picking. So, unfortunately, this is the boring part of hacking. It's just holding E. And as long as you have the materials. To hack it, you're good to go. Does this one do 51 damage, 36? We'll use that one. Lenish on mag picks. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I didn't think I was that close to the fire. I'm pretty sure I never used one of these staffs before. Bits are your your currency in this game. And then we'll just do this and then we will break it down for weapon parts. Which are used to repair that. <coughs> Where's the last guy? I get there in time right on the head and the mask so give me that but I don't want to be hiding my face so there is an option to turn that off somewhere K 
gameplay show player helmet Couple times this will not affect your equipment or stats so I'll get the stats but it just won't show my helmet which to be honest it doesn't matter a whole lot because there's not many times you'll see my face hey get over here before you get yourself killed hi don't know where you came from stranger but you best keep your head down there's marauders hereabouts and worse landing violators call on that rung leech landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad i'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about So I heard if I one of your teammates hold up in a cave. Really? How is he? Yeah, oh he's doing swell. Totally fine. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. <laughs> we'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Uh-huh. So, I bet you could get these marauders to tell you, or... I can intimidate her, and I guess I'll have to give you a zero on the customer satisfaction survey. So... This world is basically ran by Walmart, and it's hilarious. Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking lemonade. Damn yeah, right. Here we go. Yep, I accidentally hit swing. I see you. Alright. No loot on you. I'll take the meat. No loot on you. Oh, wait, I can just break it down from here. That's right. No need to have to keep going here. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Break it down. And I could probably break down this saber, too, so. Alright. So, any talking to you now? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. And in we go. In the ship. Loading times are fast. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Uh huh. Oops. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Uh. Whatever you say. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. <laughs> She'll just keep going. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Hmm. Ah, uh, she won't do nothing. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Yet. All right. Here is a. Uh... All right, there's a level up. And by the way, leveling up really murders your ears. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. So yeah, here is your... Oh, I can redo my thing. Okay. But, oh, maybe the workbench is down there. Um... 
workbench to upgrade your stuff. Which, to be honest, isn't like super important. This is 57, this is 51, so we'll change that. Oh, yeah, leveling up. Skills. Mm hmm. Again, I'll just put some into ranged. So I can't singly choose one until they reach 50, which I find kind of dumb. Um, we'll put some into stealth. Then, uh, I guess more into here. We'll put we'll put the rest in the melee. Time dilation effects, melee power attacks. I can pause if you want to read it. By selecting perks. So 50% 50 base health, weapon and armor durability loss, <coughs> 5 base armor rating, which is the one I'm going to take first. Because the more armor, the more better. Next one will probably be health. That's the one thing about the game that was kind of disappointing with the perks are kind of, you know, really lackluster. Not many good ones. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo holds workbench. I think that was a shotgun I just picked up. Yep. So we'll put that at I'll put that at one. Pistol two, shotgun three. Oh, so here's the workbench. Okay, so that's specs remods. This is workbench. All right, we'll go talk to unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you gonna do? Self-destruct? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. Great, I'm getting shot into space twice in one day. So any dumb dialogue option, I am required to click it. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Yeah, let's go with that one. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. You're I am dead, dead. to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Nod and smile. Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Astutely observed. However, the 
the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. All right. Let's move on. So this is probably going to be a long episode. Just to be a war fair warning. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister... You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Alright, so... So follow the road, but I want to see what's up here first. Heavy ammo. I don't really need the shovel. Alright. Follow the road, huh? Oh, we don't follow no roads. Because that's boring. Ooh, a box. Ooh, weapon part. Definitely take that. You know why? Because then you miss out on stuff like this. Oh, he's not dead. Take that, and I will go ahead and break down that one. All right, so you do 50 damage. No point in keeping that one. Uh, we'll just break that down. Um, and then, I believe this is a Marauder camp up here. Yep. Run! Heal. Oh shit, I had to reload. Damn it. Alright, it's okay, I got 10 health. Oh crap, I hit Q. Oh, hello. Surprise. Uh, that's junk. We can sell that. All right. Where the other guy go? Sell that. I could break down that one. Actually, no. I think this one actually has one more damage than the 
gun I'm currently using. Where'd the other guy go? I don't remember where I killed him. Oh, right here. Oh, he didn't have anything anyway. You had nothing. Uh, I believe I killed the doggy things over here. And a tail. All this stuff I can sell for... Now, I'm one person with this game. I don't use a lot of the... Uh, like... <laughs> foods and... Drinks and all that crap, so... Hunter kit, backpack, big cartridge. It's always nice to find. Um, I guess. Impact hammer. Nice. What does this do? 58 damage. I'll try the hammer over this one. We'll break down this one because it's... And then this here, put that there, put you there. And then we can kind of break these down now. I don't think I've been picking up any armor. So. Ooh, it's one-handed. Nice. Or you looted your body. Uh, there was a ladder I saw. It's over here. What is up here? Ammo. Ooh. Thank you for the mag pick. I needed that. Drink. All right. Let's let's go. Move. Let's move on. Two, a town leader. Okay, yeah, those I'm not messing with right now. Those I'm not messing with. That's a that's a bad time waiting for me. Not dealing with that. Nothing? Where's the, uh, what am I looking for here? There we go. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? I don't know, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Mmm. How do you know I'm... How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Oh. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You best hundred. head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. I could lie. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice Now, that's family. only good... Saying I'm Alex Hawthorne is really only good for people who don't know who he is. So... Uh, who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. So. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Hmm. Depends on the work. You offering a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our gravesites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. 
Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. He may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Alright, where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Something else I want to ask you about. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a junior in humor? Grave digger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, 30 to 1. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. You lose a lot of people to marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after? Loot? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Hmm. Thanks for your time. Alright, we move on. So, quest tracker. We'll do that later. Or, you know what? Actually, we can do some of them now. To, um, we do some of them now. It shouldn't take long to do some of them. If I remember what I'm doing. Which I should because it hasn't been too long since I've played this game. Or beaten the game. You're the barbershop guy. Hello. Please don't touch anything. Your hands I will are touch everything now. Germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. And the city you makes my head hurt. <laughs> This is what happens when you eat with your fingers. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains. I'm for supposed eternity. to report you if I'm dead. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. It's not like any barber I know. Speaking of burials, Silas sent me here to collect your fees. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't understand a word you said. I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. As he should. I have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Mm, I don't care. Pay up. With what? 
My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Mm, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. But I let you know if I see anything. I mean, I'm going in here. Closing the door behind me. Examining this letter. Chef should have shot himself. This is bad. You know what? I'm not going to read it. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video. Oh, it's the same letter. Nothing on you. Nothing on you. I'll just take all that. What can I do for you? Hmm. Well, I guess I could do that. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? I <laughs> use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Wow. Sweet, I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gray site fees? You know about Eugene? How? <laughs> uh. Were you snooping around in my things? Or was it just dumb luck? Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. See, now was that so hard? Probably. Probably was too hard for him. All right. That's one down. You are a little more challenging right now. I need to wait for that one. Um, Bilius Ranger. Let's see if we can't knock you out. Oh, wait, is that the main quest? That might be the main quest. I don't know. Uh, let's check here real quick. Yeah, she's the... Okay. You the new worker? Yes. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Uh, Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. 
Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. So I've heard. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. But j I thought you said there was the closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the oh, fine. Oh, that's just dumb. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Vandalism? <laughs> Do you have to clean the bits off of him off the wall or something? Do you have to clean bits of him off the wall or something? First of all, that's a horrible thing to say. Secondly, yes we did. <laughs> when one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Uh, would have... Would have? You didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. Hmm? I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I'll let you get back to work. All right. So the next guy I went the wrong way. How do I get out of here? That works. He is in here. So we'll talk to him, but I won't go there because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need something before I go there. Yes, Mr. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're totally healthy. Uh, want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Uh, I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Hey, everyone pays. He told me everything. How long do you think you could keep the secret like that? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. Yeah, no shit. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Mm, why do you think I'm a freelancer? Uh, it depends on what you need. Let's go with that one. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracil and tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. 
Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. I assume there are guards? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. Can you oblige me with your haste? I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, I think Lord, he's just a druggie. Now I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but he never did find my courage. I'll leave you be. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Hi. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. That's not shady at all. I'm doing right by the town. I'll tell you that much. You bring me that medicine and I'll see that it goes to the right people. I don't think about it. That's all I can ask of you. So, I wasn't able to unlock it, but my first playthrough, basically, she's... There's more sick people in the town that needs that medicine than he does, in essence. And she can't get enough medicine to heal everyone. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. So, that's why she wants you to get give her the medicine. She basically... What was that? Huh? I don't know what that was. If you're falling sick, oh, want let me, um... Yeah, let me go turn this in. We'll go turn in this mission. Mr. Gravesite, dude. I believe that's... Oh, god damn it. He's okay. Never mind. I'm not done. We got one more guy to talk to. He's pra oh blocking. I forgot you can do that. I'm surprised I didn't like shatter my ankles. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh, are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Well, fuck me. Oh, they mean to. Just you wait. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I've seen them over by the old power plant. 
clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? What can I do to stop the coming apocalypse? You can gird yourself in the armor of righteousness, soldier. From this moment on, you are a proud member of the resistance. Yay. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Cool. Uh, Silas sent me. You owe him your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Yeah, he sure did, and he's asking for a little extra to um, furnish the resistance with medical repel, me mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent, a stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. I got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Hmm. Go on. Uh, what can you tell me about mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. That's, uh, pretty creepy. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. I'll let you be. All right. Now we can turn in the quest. <laughs> now we should be good. Oh, I never noticed if I can actually go in here. Nope. It's sealed. Which is kind of lame, to be honest. So, all right. We'll turn this in. Fancy threads. That's some kind of hibernation suit. Kind of. Hey, about those fees you wanted run into any trouble all done paperwork fees and signatures reliable work from a freelancer that's gonna take some getting used to Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness Abernathy was sick with the plague that's disgusting I shook hands with the guy he was convinced you knew what? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Hmm. Yeah, definitely don't have that. Let me ask you about something else. Yeah? Have you ever heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Uh Anderson, are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. 
Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Maybe. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Troubles in the asking. Board don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Oh, fine. Let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? Hmm. We need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Uh, I read a letter from Phyllis. She mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night mm. he was supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah? No, I guess that's all the information I need. I should go. Doo -doo. All right. Let's level up. So every other level is going to give you a perk. You always get skill points, but you don't get a perk until, like, every other level. So, we are going to do more two in a melee. We are going to do ranged. Dialogue I don't care about. Couple on the stealth. And I guess we'll just put the rest into. Mm. I guess ranged weapons. All right. Back into town we go. I think I'm on the main quest now. Yeah, okay. We'll head to here. Right into the Saltuna cannery. And before I go up there, I'm going to end the video here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you do enjoy it, to leave a thumbs up for me. So let me know you guys are actually enjoying it. I will be posting more. So let me put that out there. And remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. I got a feeling we're